Hello everybody, hope you are all well. Today I'm going to share with you my last projects for the month of July for Trezor's Deluxe. Um, I have three things to show you today, three smaller items, but um, I hope you like them. The first are two altered Pringles can storage containers I've made. And this is the first one. It's just put together on a little... Um, what is that vase cup type thing um, I like the tarnish look so uh, some people may like them all shined up but I like the tarnish look I did not alter the inside of the tin because I'm going to be putting pens and things like that in it and um, it was silver anyway so I thought that was that was okay but uh, because my children eat Pringles, you know, they rip the lids off so it gets a bit scuffed around the top there. So all I did was go over the top of it with a silver sharpie just to cover up any bits that may have been scuffed. Now I've used the lovely paper from the Kaiser Craft uh, on this day, I think, is it on this day collection? Um, I had a little bit of paper left from what Carolyn sent me and I use that. I love the colour of it. It's just beautiful. And I've used the gorgeous bling from Trezor's Deluxe around the base of it, like that. I've used this beautiful silver and it's got like little sequins and little tiny, not rhinestones, but beads and things on the trim there it's absolutely gorgeous and that comes from Trezor's Deluxe also and then around the top I've just used some of my own bling um, and that actually came from a shoe so that's the first one I've put together nice and blingy and the second one I've made is actually on a candlestick as you can see and that's also slightly tarnished um, I've used the beautiful, oh, it's a bit hard to see isn't it, the beautiful beaded trim around the bottom just to add a little bit of, um, you know, frivolity to it I guess you could say. And then this gorgeous flower from Trezor's Deluxe in the centre as like the showpiece. So I'm uh, kind of hard to do that with the beaded trim but um, I'll try and put up a photo at the end of it. So you can see I've used my own bit of lace on the top and bottom there and just some flat back pearls on the top to finish it off. So they're the two canisters that I altered. Um, and then the third project I was, I don't know if you could say inspired or I saw a beautiful photo on Pinterest quite some time ago of a lady's work and I've always wanted to try doing something similar um, but not changing it too much because I really like what she did and the lady's name is Julia Garina and she's a textile artist who makes toys and she makes beautiful fabric and lace and beaded um, brooches and I will put a link to her uh, to her website on the, in the description box below um, and go and take a look at her gorgeous work but what I've done is I've done a peacock and I've made it out of fabric I hope that's it's very long see I've made it out of fabric and I was inspired because she she made a peacock, peacock herself a couple of years ago and I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a brooch so it would have been a lot smaller than this um, and I've made this as a shelf sitter so it can sit on a shelf and the tail can hang down and you could also just put a little hanger on it to hang it on a wall or something like that if you wanted to do and I've used all the trims from Trezor's Deluxe to put this together there's this lovely floral trim down the bottom here and that's two different floral pieces. Some of them were the last pieces I had so I can't actually show you the full piece of lace but this one here, this was actually taken from this lovely lace here. I cut the flower pieces off the bottom. Obviously all these pieces here um, 
it's a bit hard to show you, are another trim. And then this one is like that dangly leaf type of trim. I may have a touch, a little bit left, but I can show you for that one. It's this one here. That one there. And I've just cut these, that bottom piece off there and staggered those all going up here like that and then once again I've used the flower pieces around the wing here two different flower pieces but I've put some little doodad leaves amongst all that just to sort of add a bit of sparkle and to lift it up and give it a bit more dimension um, this particular lace going down the back here is is this one here and I've just used all those pieces and cut them up and I've placed them going down the back here and also um, a small piece behind the pearls on the crown there this piece here was uh, off one of the other trims I don't have any of that left then I've sprinkled lots of pearls and seed beads and things like that just randomly across the back and across the wing and on her head. The lace I've used on the actual bird itself is a lace from Tresors Deluxe. It's a netted French lace but um, that is the last piece I had of that also. And I've only done the front side. The other side is plain. I've just put a little bit of trim where it will sit on the shelf there. Um, and it's just a bird I cut out two pieces sewn together and then I added this flap like a flap down the bottom just to secure the lace pieces to make it easier to work with. I've stuffed it and if you want it to sit on a shelf just add a little bit of rice or something before you sew it up in a little bag so it gives it some weight to sit down. If you're going to hang it then of course that's not necessary. A little bit more of that beautiful beaded trim on her headdress and I've also put a few pieces down here amongst the feathers as well. I've also put beads on these circle parts down the bottom just to add that little bit of colour and interest down there uh, and I think that's pretty much it. A couple more doodad leaves in her hair there and I drew the eye on and I've placed a brown glass bead for her eye. Um, everything is actually glued on apart from the eye. I sewed that on and of course the bird is sewn together as well. But um, yep, all glued this one so obviously the lady's work is all hand sewn. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm so glad I gave it a try and I think she's really really beautiful to be honest. Um, so do take a look at her work and once again it just shows you what you can do with all the beautiful trims and laces from Trezors Deluxe, um, how you can cut them up and use them, I'm so sorry about the dogs, how you can cut them up and how you can use them for many different things. So um, do pay Trezors Deluxe a visit also and I'll put some photos at the end of this because all of them they're a little bit difficult to show um, laying down like that so thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you uh, we're having a little break in August so September I should be doing some more projects for Trezors Deluxe so take care everybody bye oh and before you go and if you're interested there is a discount code in the description box below. You just type in, if you're wanting to order the laces and trims, just type in Jeanette 10 and you will get 10% discount on anything you order. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.